How you guys doing? It's Tekken 101 here. Gonna do the long awaited up video for removing the hard drive and removing the RAM from any 17 inch, 15 inch, 13 inch MacBook Pro unibody. These are all the same steps for each model. There's no difference in the steps. So let's just get to it. <clears throat> what we wanna do here, we're gonna flip the MacBook around, I assume. Ooh, and I have some scratches in the bottom of this. And I didn't notice. That sucks. Well, what you gonna do? So basically, what we have here, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws we have to remove. What you wanna do, you wanna get <coughs> the smallest Phillips screwdriver you can find. Um, zoom into this, and I'm pretty sure it's called Phillips. Let me just unlock my lens here. Zoom in. Get this in focus. As you can see, it has to be extremely small. This is the smallest I have, and it's good because the tip is really sharp. And you also need a T6 screwdriver to remove the screws from the hard drive. All right? So first one we're gonna use is the Phillips, as I said. Just zoom out here. Lock my lens. Get it in focus once again. And we're gonna get to it. All right, what you wanna do is pop in screwdriver, of course, and carefully remove each screwdriver, excuse, no I'm sorry, carefully remove each screw because you don't want to eat the screws, meaning you don't want to, you know, damage the screw and be unable to, you know, screw back the, the screw back inside the laptop. So, I might do a time lapse here and speed up this part of the video. So it won't be as long. Now these screws towards the back, you do realize that they are bigger. These are bigger screws, so you know to separate them from the back. Now the back sometimes is hard to come off, but you can get it. Just, you know, pop it off. As so, I'm just trying not to, you know, have it bouncing everywhere like I just had it. Now, it is good to do this sometimes because if you do notice, if I zoom here for you guys once again, it's always good to pop it off every once in a while and just clean it because you do notice that there is dirt here. Um, you can't really notice it because of the lighting. But let me raise the ISO here for a second. Just so you guys can see the dirt that accumulates inside. So it is good to, you know, open these things once in a while and then just just clean it and slowly wipe off the little dirt and everything that's inside but we're gonna put that to the side um zoom out once again matter of fact i'm gonna zoom in so there's the computer there's the the inside of the um laptop and here in this section here is where we have our ram and here's the hard drive that's all we're gonna touch right now so we're gonna zoom in 
All right there. So I ran. Now, to remove the RAM, um, I'm not necessarily going to remove it per se because I already have removed the old RAM. I just inserted these, this new RAM in here. What we're going to do is take two fingers on each clip and simply slide it, pop out. It's that easy. The bottom goes for the same. There's two clips here. You just simply pop it out and you wiggle your way out because it is harder to come out. And there we go. As so. That's all it is to remove. Now inserting it is the same way. You slowly insert it to the bottom. As so. Make sure they're both even and simply slide down. When you go down, you do feel and hear a lock. Letting you know it's secure in there. Again, you take it, put them in at, at an angle, as so, and slowly push down. That's all there is to do that. Now, we come over here to the RAM port, the hard drive. Get that in focus. Uh, problem is with my lens, when I have it like this, it's, it creaks and it goes back down. So we're gonna probably have to either deal with it like that or just leave it like that and show you guys the section. So I'm gonna just move this over. Move it over like that. Uh-huh. Sorry about that guys. I'm just trying to get the perfect angle for you guys. So right now, this is what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna come over here and these screws, one, two, we have to remove. Now once we have that out, we're gonna screw this one. Well, unscrew this one. Now that we have both those out, it's perfectly fine. Put that to the side. Now what we want to do here, we're going to pull this out slowly and carefully and slowly remove the SATA drive. And then there's all that is to it. And just in case you guys didn't see me, which I'm pretty sure you didn't because of the lens, let's move this over here. All I did, this was connected here to this portion of the hard drive. Now all we had to do is just simply pull it off as so. And that's all, all there is to do it. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'll try to zoom out. Lock this. Camera over. Now that we have all that in order, what we're going to do is we're going to put. Oh, before I do that, if you notice here, if you notice here. There's screws on each side of the hard drive. There's four. Sorry about that guys, my camera stopped recording. But you see on the side, there's four screws. Each of those screws has to be taken off with a T6 and be placed on your new hard drive. Um, so to insert this back, all you're gonna do is pop this back here, come at it at an angle, as so, and, sl and slowly place it back. Take this, how we had it before, and put it back exactly the same way. You want to put it exactly the same way because these are the shot guards for the hard drive. So they can um, absorb any movement the hard drive makes while, while spinning. So as we put this back, this is all going to be a time lapse from now to the moment everything is closed and booted up once again.
and there we have it guys that's how you install RAM and a hard drive on the 17 inch MacBook Pro now we're gonna do a quick boot just to show you that everything is working accordingly and properly now there you have it this is the 17 inch MacBook Pro um let me just lower the ISO here 17 MacBook Pro with the 750 gigabyte hard drive that I installed and showed you and the 8 gigabytes of RAM so as you see the Windows uh, I'm sorry not the Windows the OS X operating system is loaded up properly and everything is fine so there you have it guys this is Tech and More 101 signing out rate comment and subscribe